we are outside of IKEA, but this time in Schleppen. Actually, you know what? Oslo has two IKEAs. Yeah. <laughs> so today we have gathered some cars here. It's um, the e-tron, an iPace, and a Tesla Model X. So we want to find out which car is most efficient. Well, yeah. Uh, we want to see how it goes to drive it on typical Norwegian roads, you know. Uh, so there'll be a mix of motorway and also the, the slower roads. And um, we've been discussing now how to do it. So uh, we will cruise at, we'll, tr we'll try to use adaptive cruise control. And we just follow the traffic, no hammering, because that is too much uh, variables. And uh, if it's open, then we try to cruise at, um, at speed limit plus 10%. Yeah, not 10 kilometers, probably 10 percent, roughly. And what else? We just use normal, normal setting, right? No, no range mode, uh, no eco mode, because that could fog the windows. Otherwise, I would use it. But now it's winter; it's, it's minus five degrees Celsius. So, um, yeah, what do you guys think? Yeah, it'll be good. And uh, all the cars have the same tires. Yeah. Yes, that's a oh, good point there. Good point. We all have a uh, Nokia uh, Hakuplita R3 studless tires uh, I have 19 inch on the e-tron I'll be driving the e-tron uh, 18 inch you 18 inch on the um, I pace and then the X uh, 19 uh, yeah some 19 so that is you know pretty standard for what people use in winter so um, yeah and we've been charged to almost 100% well I think all of them are 100% right or close close yeah close enough but we don't care too much about the state of the chart, we just want to see the consumption. So, any questions? Or? No, no, I'm, uh, I'm excited. Yes, me too. Yeah. <laughs> yes, all right, let's just get going then. Yeah. Okay. All right, so, yeah, uh, we're getting ready now. Not, not too big of a test compared to the one in the US, but wow, just look at the sheer size of this uh, e-tron compared to the smaller, uh, uh, I pace and then Mother Model X is also pretty huge. So, yes, um, let me get ready and then, uh, yeah. Oh, look here. Oh, I always do this. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> e tron. Yeah. All right, and we also agreed to use 21 degrees Celsius on automatic and uh, we also preheated the car. Well, let me just keep it so we've been uh, keeping the car nice and warm in here yeah so all the conditions should be the same for all the other cars so let me call them and then we start going all right off we go yeah we're on the e16 or the e18 actually so i let the other guys start first yeah so i can get some filming done but we can we can rotate who drives the, f the first one but it doesn't really matter because we don't we don't get much drafting effect now so the iPace is first, and then the Model X second, and then me. All right, and as, as expected, we hit traffic. Yeah, it's um, what the time now? It's uh, four in the afternoon, so uh, we are only cruising at 50 kilometers per hour. It's following the traffic. All right, let me see. Um, uh, what's the consumption, guys? Okay, 250 watt per kilometer on the jack. Okay, and the Model X consumption 249 on the X. Ooh, I have 291. Oh shit! Oh, I'm the highest one for now. Right. These are heavy cars, big cars, so uh, as expected, they are thirsty. This is not an Ionic race. All right, let me see. I-Pace has 276, wasn't it? Uh, the X has 280. And I have 310. We've been driving at the same speed here. 310. We are still going uphill, though, and slowly. Okay, 337 on I pace. What about Model X? 349 on the Model X, yes, as expected. Uh, and you see, my car 384. 
Now this is as expected because uh, the I pace with driver uh, is about three. Uh, what is it? Two thousand three hundred something kilos. Uh, Model X with driver is uh, about two thousand five hundred. So that's two hundred kilo more. And then uh, the e-tron with driver is two thousand seven hundred kilos. So again, two hundred kilos more. And that. So um, we, we were just on top, and now we go downhill. And then we'll see. Oh, look, so much salt schmutz, but the wipers and the nozzles in the e-tron is freaking amazing. Look here. Okay, spray. There. It cleans up quite well compared to the Tesla. The Tesla has the worst wipers and nozzles. It simply doesn't work in properly in, in winter like this. But yeah, you see that um, we try to keep a good space between each car and also um, the I-Pace which is driving uh, at front is also having a car in front there and actually it just turns out to be a leaf. So none of, none of us has any advantage of drafting if there is any at all. Because you know, we're driving pretty slow here anyway, 85, yeah. Okay, let's check the consumption then. Now what's the consumption guys? So mine is 296. I pay 260, 266 on the X. Whoa! Hmm. All right, we have done uh, most of the descending now, and it turns out that the I pace is down to 222. The X is at 226, right behind the I pace, and then mine is at 250. So mine is just constantly over the other ones, but uh, now. The IP is actually leading. This is unexpected because most of you guys would think that the Tesla is most efficient, but not right here. No. <laughs> Interesting. Another consumption update. IP is at 217. The X is at 224, and uh, my car is at 245. Oh yes. Well, I didn't expect this at all. I was, I was expecting to maybe even beat the I pace, and now the I pace is winning, or at least leading. <laughs> and then once we hit the motorway, then I'm going to lose big time. So the question is now: Will we? We know everyone knows that uh, Tesla is more efficient at high speed, but will the motorway stretch be enough for the Tesla to take the lead from the I pace? Hmm. So this is uh, Drummond's Alva. So um, now the consumption is 205 on the I pace, 213 on the X, and uh, 230. Yeah, one very annoying thing is that every time I disengage. Um... Oh, hey there, hey there. Okay, I have to give instruction to the people going to drive. Right, uh, E134. But you know, one very annoying thing about this car is that if I engage uh, cruise control and then I disengage cruise control, then the region is always reset to uh, zero, no region. So I have to use the handle to start it again. Constantly have to keep re-enabling the region to maximum. Right, we are now in uh, Drammen. We just had to take a break, pee break. We've been driving for almost two hours. And the result so far is that the I-Pace is the winner. Yeah, 206 watt per kilometer. The Model X has 213. And then the e-tron, 230. That was totally unexpected, but the average speed was pretty low, like about 65 kilometers per hour, 40 miles per hour. You guys are thinking, what the heck? Well, this is the reality in Norway and maybe also in some other countries uh, because of traffic. Yeah. But now from here, uh, we will do the motorway test and then the average speed should be over 100 kilometers per hour. Hopefully 110. Yeah. 
So short pee break and then off we go again. All right, we are about to leave. Um, so we're getting ready and then uh, now we will do the motorway stretch. Let me show you here. Uh, we are here, we will drive on the motorway and then turn back again, back to Ikea. So this will be the high-ish speed test. And um, we will reset, we, we use two different trip meters. So now I have the short term memory and the long term. So I will reset the short term and then off we go. We are now on the motorway, E18 heading south. Uh, we have to turn around in about 25 kilometers. And uh, according to the speedometer, I'm cruising at 125, but that's 120 real speed. And you guys can probably hear it, that this car is like dead silent compared to all the other EVs I've tried. You know, it's the most silent EV I have ever tested. It's unbelievably quiet compared to some of the other like, not so premium cars. So this is, of course, true audio, uh, true audio quality, yeah. It's not any, it's not many more quiet than the other Audis, except that you, there is no engine noise. Alright, we have a little consumption check here. Um, the I-Pace has now 305 consumption, Model X has 289, and uh, the e-tron has 324. We have driven uh, 33 kilometers on the motorway right now. We are getting close to uh, Lier. So the consumption so far is 275 on the Model X, 291 on uh, the I-Pace, and 307 on this car, uh, the e-tron. Seems like on the motorway, then e-tron and um, I-Pace is more equal. All right, and then look, let's look at the total numbers here. So. Uh, Total for uh, for the X is 236, and then for the I pace is 237. So suddenly uh, the X is leading now, and then mine is 262. So I'm I'm out of the competition. I'm too high. But it seems like the the X, as long as it can drive fast on the motorway, then it will get a lead. Now it depends how the traffic will be on the way back. So. Uh, we have to see in the end then which car will win. But it's going to be the battle between the X and uh, I pace. Well, we're back at IKEA. So uh, we have the I pace parked to the right, and then uh, the X is to the left here. And let's check the. This is the high, the high-ish speed, and the Norway speed. Yes, the, the. So mine is 291. All right, it's 291 for me, and then I pace. Uh, 276. 276. Ooh, and, and X? On the motorway? Two, yes. 264. 264. Ooh. All right. But what counts is the total. And the total for me is 256. All right, 256 for me. And then I pace? 235. 235. Ooh, okay, and the X? The X has 234. Oh, that was super close. Was wow. Good. All right, let's get out of the car then. Wow, I mean, that was that was great fun. <laughs> yes. Actually, really fun. Yeah, it was really fun. Woo. Just driving around Norway, yeah. <laughs> so, um, you know, it was very unexpected because I thought that uh, the, the I-Pace was the least efficient but at low speed you know you you were like uh, you were the lowest one all the time right yeah yeah even or especially going uphill because of uh, physics uh, but also yeah the, the whole first stretch all the way until we stopped there you had the lowest consumption but uh, it was funny that the difference between uh, the i pace and the tesla was like only like between five and eight what type of kilometer? And then Etron was like 20 higher than those two again. Yeah, so I was always the thirstiest all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but then it was also interesting at the motorway because then the difference between, well, I was highest again, but then the difference between me and the iPads was uh, not less. less. Yeah. And then 
Tesla as expected was lowest on the motorway. So uh, you won with like a small margin, yeah. right? <laughs> so one is within the mar like the the error margin. So um yeah. It might as well be I mean if you let off a little bit or something, you didn't overtake that hard and yeah, we had yeah. a few overtakes. That was close. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> was it 234 and 235? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> on the total. On the total, yeah. Yeah, that was <laughs> super close. close. Yeah. But uh, let me sh show the cars. So, you know, if you look at them, you can see that the eye place is, is pretty small and nimble compared to the other cars. And then the, the X and the e-tron is like, Big, especially e-tron look look how big the front of the e-tron is and you can see that the x is kind of well, i'm not sure if you parked storm is on helling or like is it parked like did you park it up on the it looks like it's kind of sloping down here let me see now, okay yeah okay that that tire is a little bit up there so that yeah so the x is pointing a little bit downward but you can see that the x is um front is like you know it's the more aerodynamic so hmm interesting yeah but um all right i think oh hang on, let me just go on this side yeah so i think that'll be it yeah the the ultimate test between the big three cars <laughs> the big three evs so um Thank you guys so much okay. for coming. Well, yeah. thank you for inviting us. Thank you for inviting us. Fun. I was, uh, I mean, it was very fun. Thank you thank for you. showing up. It was uh, great fun. Yeah. <laughs> so, what should we do next? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, all right. So, I guess that's it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. So, as always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.